You know, A-Basin has a very colorful history, and a guy named Larry Jump, uh, who was a 10th Mountain Division veteran, um, joined another guy named Sandy Scheffler, and they did a tour of Colorado for the Denver Chamber of Commerce, looking for sites to build the ski area, and they found A-Basin. Larry was the first president of the company, and he really got things rolling. The mountain itself looked very much the same, and they had really uh, grandiose plans. Larry had actually been a uh, ski bum in Europe in the late 30s, and got swept up into the war, and was actually uh, captured by the Germans before the Americans were even involved in the war. But he knew all about skiing, and he had these uh, grand visions for uh, Arapaho Basin. And he kicked it off in December of 46 with just a rope tow, but by the next year, they had a couple of single chairlifts. I, I think there's been kind of three lifespans of Arapaho, or three distinct eras, maybe is a better way to say that. But you know, Larry had the place uh, until the 70s, and he kept it going along, and Larry also was uh, the president of uh, the original Palma of America company, so there were Palma lifts all over the place. And then uh, in the late 70s, uh, Ralston Purina bought the place, and they kind of uh, did a start over and uh, put the lifts in much like we see them now, and Ralston owned the place until 97. And the current owner, uh, Dundee Resort Development, has been managing it since then. What the real heart and soul of Arapaho is, is the skiing and riding, and, and the culture and the way people feel when they're here. So more than anything, we're gonna preserve that really special feeling people have. So that's our number one priority. That said, we're gonna keep doing things to try and improve the ski in every, every step we can. We just uh, have a new master development plan process we're working on, and we're gonna try and add some skiing out in the beavers to the west of us. Um, we're gonna keep trying to make the buildings and the lodges work better, um, but really more than anything, we're gonna keep the skiing and the riding pure. There is nothing like A Basin anywhere. There's a lot of great ski areas and resorts around the world, but there's nothing like Arapaho Basin. The beach is, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it started out as kind of just a tailgating scene and it's, uh, you know, it just gets more creative, more fun all the time and people come and they have these big parties down there and geez, sometimes they bring bands and hot tubs and all kinds of other stuff, but it's just a cool place to hang out. What used to be a secret and is not so much of a secret anymore, this is a great place for people to learn how to ski and you see so many locals here um, with their kids. We're still small enough that everybody funnels right back to the base area. Uh, it's easy to stay together. It's easy to get together later. And um, you know, it's really a great place.